Good morning, uh, and welcome to Good News for Today, November 24th. Uh, my name is Tim. My name is Nikki. And you all probably knew that. <laughs> and uh, we're pleased to bring you good news for today. Uh, our reading for today is from uh, Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 to 9. And I'm just going to read that now. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice and the peace of God will be with you. Uh, and just in addition to that, the, the me being referred to there is, of course, the Apostle Paul. Uh, thanks be to God for the scripture. This is a scripture that's been very um, meaningful to me for probably most of my life. Um, rejoice in the Lord. Uh, we've been through a fairly uh, rough period this last while with a number of our parishioners passing away that, uh, um, and our snowmageddon, uh, all of these things. Sometimes um, it's hard to find where we should rejoice in that. But this is what the Apostle Paul tells us, that we should rejoice. We should rejoice always, um, and then our gentleness will, will be evident to all. Um, I had this verse written and pasted on the wall of one of my sons when uh, he was growing up because he tended to have uh, a bit of anxiety. And so, do not be anxious, it says. I'm, and basically... I want, what I would like is for you to think of these verses and see what it would mean to you, because it may be, mean something different to you than it does to me, but um, do not be anxious, but by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, and I think the thanksgiving is the emphasis there, that then we should present our requests to the Lord, and the peace of God will guard our hearts and our minds. Um, Think, and then the very last bit is to think about things that are excellent and praiseworthy. When I look at the things that we are bombarded with through the media and through other things, um, sometimes it's hard to think about the things that are pure and excellent and praiseworthy. We do have some... Um, choices to make, uh, what we watch on TV. Sometimes it's hard to not watch the news, but maybe sometimes it's better not to. Um, so just as a recap, we, the, uh, the Apostle Paul tells us to rejoice, not to be anxious, and to focus on things that are pure and, and praiseworthy. So I challenge you to meditate on this uh, on these verses and try to put them into practice. Now Tim's going to close with a word of prayer. Yes. Let's just pray if we will. Lord of creation, whose glory is around and within us, open our eyes to your wonders that we may serve you with reverence and know your peace in our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you folks for uh, listening today and uh, joining us in good news. Uh, today's scripture was a, an uplifting, uplifting and, and good news uh, for uh, our life in Christ. Um, so we wish you good wishes for the day and uh, we'll be pleased to see you next time we come around the cycle. Thanks Have for joining day. us. Toodles. <laughs>